All right, y'all, let's get started. Uh, this is going to be just kind of a quick lesson, as you can tell by the, you know, not seeing my face. Uh, this is going to be a very quick video. Um, what we're covering is we're covering radical form versus exponential form. Now, basically the idea with radicals and exponentials is you can convert between them. And the big thing is that with kind of the exponential form, if we have a fraction, so something like this. Oh, that's not bold enough. That's bold enough. Okay, something like this as an exponent, we can turn that into a radical, something kind of like a square root. Um, where what we'll do is the root bit, the stuff on the bottom here, we can put out here. And then the rest of it, so the 5 and the exponent, we can put on the inside. And so that's our way of converting. And we also go the other way. So if we have something like this, I can go, I have a base of 8, and that's going to be raised to 2 over 3 power. And they're using this metaphor of a tree where the roots are the roots. Anyway, hopefully that might help. So let's try some practice problems really quick. So this first example would just be 7 to the 4 over 5. This would be 12 to the 2 over 9. This would be 13 cubed under a ra or sorry, no, I did that wrong. This would be 13 to the fifth under a radical under a cube root. And this would be 8 to the seventh under a sixth radical. So the reason why we care about this is now we can use radicals, we can use the exponential laws that we've covered with radicals, which is kind of a big deal. So let's simplify these expressions. Um, going from the first one, this is multiplying, so typically we would add these exponents, but the exponents don't have the same base. So what we can do is we can turn that 3 over 2 into 6 over 4, and now what I can do is I can add my exponents. So I can do 6 over 4 and 1 fourth, and that adds up to 7 over 4. Okay, the next one, these are dividing, so I can subtract the exponents. So 2 fifths minus 4 fifths, that would be negative 2 fifths. Well, negative exponent is the same thing as 1 over 11 over 2 fifths. And we can also convert that to a radical. So we could do 1 over 11 squared under a fifth root. And same kind of idea here. This one, that 2 thirds, we can bring that as a exponent on each of these things. So we can have 8 to the 2 thirds over 27 to the 2 thirds. So really what we have is we have 8 squared, but cube rooted, and cube rooted of 27 squared. And what we can do here is we can actually, instead of doing the squares here, we could put the squares outside. It doesn't really matter. And this makes our life a little bit easier because cube root of 8 is a nice small number. It's just going to be 2. And so then that's being squared. And same thing, cube root of 27 is 3, and that's being squared. So really we have 4 over 9. So yeah, that's kind of our process for this. Let's try some more really quick. Now, we're not going to worry too much about this one. But this one here, this is just going to subtract the exponent. So I'd have 5 to the 8 over 4. Well, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I just have 25. Or something like this. This would be power to a power. So I'd have 3 to the 1 over 16 to the 1 fourth. Well, that's really 3 over 4th root of 16. 4th root of 16 is just 2. So we end up with something like that. Now, even with variables, it doesn't really change all that much. All this would be is the 3k would still be to the 7th power, but it would be under a 5th root. We could even separate it out. We could say 3 to the 7th and k to the 7th under the 5th root. Same idea here. This would just be 7 cubed, sorry, 
7x cubed under a square root. We could put the 2 if we wanted to. Um, or square root of 7 cubed x cubed. And this last one would just be the 6 root of x. That's really it. All right. Now, if we're going the other way, same general idea, 10 to the 2 thirds, or 3k to the 4 fifths, but that's on the bottom of the fraction, so we can even write it as 3k to the negative 4 fifths if we wanted to bring it to the top. Also, I should put parentheses around this, otherwise it wouldn't be correct. And finally, 2x to the 6 over 5. All right. Now, combining all the rules, we have some examples here. Let's go over these really quick, even though they don't really involve radicals. This first one here, what we deal with is we deal with this set of parentheses first because of that cube. So cubing all this, we would have 3 cubed, so 27, a to the third, b to the twelfth, and then over here we'd have 2 a to the third, b squared. Multiplying those together, we'd have 54, a to the sixth, b to the fourteenth. Similar idea on the next one. We can distribute. So x to the third, y to the third, y to the eighth, x to the fourth, over z to the fourth. Multiplying this out, I have seven x's on top. I have eight x's, or sorry, eight y's on top and three y's on bottom. So I really have five y's on top and I have four z's on bottom. All right. Um, with negative exponents, again, remember, move them to the other side. So our negatives that we see here are this t and this s. So everything else can kind of stay. We can still have 6s on top, and we can still have 2t squared on bottom. But we'll have now t to the fourth on bottom and s squared on top. Now simplifying that, 2 over 4, or 6 over 2 is 3. We'd have 3s's on top and 6t's on bottom. Now this bottom one, we're distributing the negative 2. So really what we're going to do is that y will be y to the negative 2, 3 to the negative 2, and z to the negative 6. Well, the negative exponents move to the other side, so really we'd have 3 squared over z to the 6. y, y to the second. And we could rewrite 3 squared as 9 if we really wanted to. All right. Now let's talk about some radicals to exponentials. This is the last little bit. What we can do is power to a power here. So we can have 36 to the 1 half times x to the second, because we multiplied 4 times 1 half. Now 36 to the 1 half, that's really square root of 36. So we really have 6 x squared. All right, same idea down here. We have fourth root. So really what we have is we're putting everything, dividing it by 4 uh, in terms of the exponents. So this would be x to the second and y to the three-fourths. The 81, well, fourth root of 81 is 3. So we're kind of left with this. Now we can leave it like this, or if we want it as a radical, we can have something like that, where the squared goes with the x. And then we have fourth root of y cubed. All right. Hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, if you have questions over this, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. Have a good one, y'all.